How much recovery time is needed after your EVO ICL procedure? The EVO ICL is an amazing procedure for those with moderate to high degrees of nearsightedness and astigmatism. There's quite a bit of overlap in patients that qualify for LASIK or PRK and the EVO ICL procedure. Often the anatomy of your eyes will determine which procedure is recommended. Most people have enough tissue to do LASIK as well as enough space to place an ICL inside their eye behind the iris. The ICL procedure is the most comfortable of all of our procedures. You will feel very little during the procedure. Perhaps the worst part of the ICL procedure is the brightness of the microscope light. You do get used to that after a minute or so. Your vision after ICL is similar to what it would be after LASIK and PRK on day one in that your vision will be foggy and blurry. The difference with the ICL is that your pupils are widely dilated so you won't be able to see anything up close for 12 to even up to 48 hours. There's typically little to no discomfort after the EVO ICL. The incision is about three millimeters right where the white and colored part of your eyes meet. This is so small that you won't feel it and you won't see it. You might feel a slight dryness on the day of the procedure as well as light sensitivity because your eyes are dilated. It's very similar to LASIK in the recovery and very fast in terms of vision on day one. Most people are seeing 20-20 or better on day one after the ICL procedure. You will have glare halos on day one. These glare halos improve quickly but can improve for six to eight weeks also. The LASIK recovery process and the EVO ICL recovery process are very close to the same. The difference is that the LASIK recovery process involves four to six hours of burning and irritation as described in the previous video. Thank you.